Hey guys, Deck Blue 25. Marcher 9234. With special number 3, episode 21 of Ranger Review. Today we have the Dragon Sword from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, aka the Dragon Caesar from Kodu Sentai Zoo Ranger. And it is missing some parts. Yes, um, noticeable parts that a lot of people miss is the clip on the crouch. That's, it. that's actually pretty easy to lose. People also break the electronics. Yeah, this part is actually pretty loose because it's just a clip and you just clip it on like this. That's it, nothing else. And of course, the tail, the tip is always and loose. It fell off. And like it's, and like and I just you, said. You, you also didn't, you don't have the, um, the, the staff and the staff holder when they're in battle mode. Now, the Dragon Zord does come with a Green Ranger. The Green Ranger was an age Green Ranger. That is the only time and only place you can get the Green Ranger. We had the other 8 inches in separate boxes, but the Dragon Zord was the only way you can get the 8 inch Green Ranger. In Zoo Ranger, Dragon Caesar never had a Green Ranger. No. All it had was Dragon Caesar. I think they put it in there because it had to justify the 40 plus dollar price tag. Yeah. It's like, Megazord has 5 guys, this one is only 1. Even with the electronics, people would probably still Because Megazord doesn't even have electronics. No. Yeah. Um, sounds. Um, the on and off switches on the back of the Dragon Zord. It makes a little hum noise and it flashes. Now, in the show, the light signaled when Tommy or Borai signaled whatever attack he wanted to do. The missiles or the spinning tail. Yeah. But in the original uh, artwork designs, Plex had the lights also create a defensive shield move to cover uh, Dragon Caesar from attack. It was never used in the show. No, in Zoo Ranger, so yeah. Yeah. Noticeable difference, sticker wise. A lot of stickers were always changed. You can tell by this, lightning bolts everywhere. Mm -hmm. M. All right, there's, there's a M right here. And of course, the bottom. These were all, these all, all. Most of those things were Egyptian as Aztec ask, and it had the Z symbols. Well, at least this was kept. Yeah, some of the stickers were uh, were all left alone, like this sticker here, and the two feet stickers, and this piece. But these two, of course, were not. Um, Really much chrome was kept, everything was kept. Now the Japanese version of the Dragon Caesar had a chrome tip tail. Yeah. Our version, we have seen, had. we, we yeah. actually had only a, major, a few, few, very few of them had very the chrome tip tail. Yeah. Now there are three boxes of the three box designs of the Dragon Sword. One that didn't have the warning label, the second one that had a warning label, that was a sticker. The, the third one was a whole box with the with the warning label on it already. But so, still, even with those three boxes, there's really no way to tell. You can't which really one tell happened. unless you open it up and it shows a chrome to tail. My, my to theory tail. is that what happened was Bandai Japan still had like F leftover Dragon Caesars that weren't sold, and they just simply gave it to America and they just put them in the box. Then later on, they just ran out. The common versions are the ones that have the no chrome tip tail, the plastic dullness, and that's it. Um, Noticeable features of Dragon Zord, he can move, open his mouth up and down a little. Not much, but stumping. The arms do move, but you have limited posability to them. As you can see, mine is very loose on here, but yeah, that's it. The feet do move, but only like about an inch away or like this. You can do this. Yeah, people always constantly put it in that. Now part. this part, you can do, you can pretend it's, a jet, it's doing a tail attack. But yeah. other than that, you can't really do You're really much. not supposed to. And a lot of people, of course, have it straight like this. Up. Not You're not supposed to, you're supposed to have it like yeah. this. Another problem that people uh, run into is also is when you transform it to make a dragon sword, the pins uh, that make it swing up fall out, and you always lose those pins. I also notice for the fact that in dragon sword, a lot of people do this even when it's in, in the regular dragon sword. You're not supposed to do that. No. It's supposed to be down. Even Japan is guilty of that. I've seen it in, again in the artwork book. They had that up, and then they had it when it was in Ultra Zord formation. It was down. Yeah. It was the wrong way. Now the dragon sword does have multiple modes. Dragon Zord in battle mode, or the Gore. It's pronounced Gore Ujin. And the Mega Dragon Zord mode, which is Jute the... Jutei Daijujin. Yeah. Now, in the show, they constantly kept calling battle mode Mega Dragon Zord. In the, in the episode Green with Evil Part 5, when Zordon said there's a new formation, it was called Dragon Zord in battle mode, not Mega Dragon Zord. 
later on after that episode, we kept on hearing Dragon Mega Dragon Zone power up, Mega Dragon Zone power up. Which version are you talking about? The Mega Dragon Zone with the Dragon Zone or just Mega Zone and Dragon Zone combined? It was just like the um, Blade Blaster called Power Gun slash Sword. But yeah, it was not called Power Gun. No, it's called Blade Blaster. I also like to point out that Dragon Caesar's original eye color was blue, along with the visor for Gorujin mode. The most likely reason why they changed it to red is so that they can use Daijujin's cockpit instead of redesigning a totally new cockpit for Gorujin. I also advise that you remove all batteries from devices when you put them in storage. There is a slight chance that they will actually leak. As you can see, Deca Blue's Dragon Zord chest piece was actually damaged by a leaked battery. So please, take out your batteries when you put stuff in storage. I, I noticed that a lot of people love the Dragon Zord because of Tommy, but in my case, no. I mean, Dragon Zord is alright, but... I mean, it's cool to have them by himself, but it's better if you have the Megazord first than the Dragon Zord. Yeah, because... This is like one of the Megas you must have the main in order to be... Yeah, it's not like with Titanus where you can have them in different modes, and you can have them in different modes without the other parts. The Dragon Zord, you really, really, really need it. Yeah, because... because he is like the other mechas. If you don't have the first one, he's completely useless. Mm -hmm. That's the only bad part. Because you can't form anything. Because you're missing the feet, you're missing, and then Arms. he goes on the shoulders. So yeah. yeah, there's really no way to do anything with him. I mean, he's cool, yeah, but he's nice he will st he'll still cost you a lot. The only bad part about the Dragon Zord, even if it's a Dragon Zord or a Dragon Caesar, it still costs you about a hundred something dollars. Because one. It's the Dragon Zone. People love the MMPR. I know a lot of you guys love MMPR. I mean, other than that, Dragon Zone is a must. It's still kept the chromeness. You're gonna see chromeness is still kept yeah, that very was, No, very none nice. of the chrome, except for the tail, all the other chrome was up the lawn. Very nice to have. I mean, in my opinion, you must get any of them. It doesn't matter what version. You can always repart labels them. But Dragon Zone is a must have for any Power Ranger fan because one, it's the original and Everyone loves the Dragon Zord. Who wouldn't? It's you're a You're always going to have missing pieces. But you always have missing pieces. If you find them in box one, it'll cost you about $80 or more. But, you know, no difference, just sticker wise. And sounds are still the same. Chromeless cap, just tail. But other than that, it's a perfect, fine coincidence with the Dragon Zord. Doesn't matter. Dragon Seed is the same thing. Um, I mean, nothing really bad about it. Just it lacks posability. So yeah, um, so that's about it for the Dragon Sword, aka Dragon Caesar. Join us next week for the final conclusion of our special on this month of Money Month Power Rangers episode 22. Be kind subscribe, see you next week. I still wish they had added a feature that if you had the uh, Dragon Dagger or slash Juso Ken, that it, it would actually l uh, trigger the sound effects. Yeah, like they should have built that in. I mean, it could have been a radio frequency thing, and then they had two other sound effects that like shoot the rockets off, or just do the beeping noise. Funny thing about the Dragon Zord is that there's only one bad, one big, big bad part. We never got the Dino, the Dragon Buckler. Oh yeah, that 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 was, is actually that the, made um, no sense. That, like, okay, I understand it was a power morpher, but. You could have done what you did with the power morpher. Had the power morpher with the power gun, had the dragon dagger with the gold dragon coin and the and the morpher. Yeah, we never got the gold power morpher, we never got the coin, we never got extra power coins, nothing. Everything. Power morpher, megazord, dragons or titanic. Blade blaster. Ba well, blade blaster still has some power morpher. These four and the power blaster, the, these combined will spend you about four dollars. Speaking of the weapons, how come we never got the thunder slinger? That is something I still wonder. And it also bugs me, they cut it out from the series. They showed it that one episode where they first met Titanus, and then that was it. And Every it was other... funny, it was funny. It says Zoo Angel on it. Yeah, I know. Thunder Slinger the... says Zoo Angel. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, what? Uh, uh, Titanus! Megazord! Dragon Zord! Zord on! What are we gonna do? Hey, he went inside the uh, freaking, uh, he went into the morphing grid. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, I love that episode. He's like, ay, 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 what was Zord on, dude? What the hell? I was like, which alpha were you? Alpha 5 or alpha 6?